Today, I'm going to teach you about the embouchure, right, as they say in French, the super embouchure or the super embouchure. Now, in French, the embouchure means tongue, teeth, lips, jaw. This is the embouchure. Okay? The embouchure for singing. How I shape or position my tongue, teeth, lips, jaw, how I position my mouth is the embouchure for singing. And by the way, we use the French term embouchure because there really isn't an English word that, that we can use to, to, in, to incorporate tongue, teeth, lips, jaw. It's just easier to use the French word embouchure. Now, again, I'm going to get closer to the camera and let you get a better look at a singer's embouchure. This is a singer's embouchure. And there's four things that you need to learn and need to know to have a great embouchure that's going to help your singing immediately sound better. Number one, a super embouchure always has a lifted upper lip and shows a lot of teeth, a lot of teeth. Make sure that when you shape your embouchure, show your canines, okay? Got to show a lot of teeth. Lift that upper lip. It's not intuitive to do that for a lot of people, but you have to do that when you're singing through your vowels and when you're training, okay? Number two, when you're doing the embouchure, take the tip of your tongue and press it against the back of the bottom teeth. Again, since you're, since you're training and singing a vowel, you won't need your tongue to articulate a consonant. So you have to put your tongue somewhere. When we sing vowels, you need to get your tongue out of the way. A lot of people retract the tongue and pull the tongue back when they're singing, and that's creating a lot of problems for some of you guys out there. So a good embouchure also has to account for tongue placement. Take the tip of your tongue and press it firmly not too hard, but firmly against the back of your bottom teeth, like this, okay? Not only does that get the tongue out of the way and put it forward in a favorable position, but it also creates stability. That sort of engages some of the intrinsic musculature of your voice and it engages stability, which helps your voice from breaking as you bridge through the passage through the registers and sing in the head voice, all right? The third thing that you need for a great embouchure is when you drop your jaw to open your embouchure, don't shape the mouth into a vertical position like this, okay? Doesn't matter what anybody told you, if anybody told you to open your mouth like this, they're missing something, they're wrong. It's not the most efficient way to open your mouth for singing. So a great embouchure um, orients the mouth into a horizontal position. A horizontal position, not a vertical position. So shape your jawline and your lips like this. Okay? Not like this, but like this. All right? What that does is a couple things. Um, one, it amplifies the sound better, it makes you louder and you get a lot of sound energy bouncing around in the smaller space of the oral cavity and it pings off the molars, it pings off the teeth. The teeth actually have a sound color associated with them. That's a good thing. And it helps you to articulate your lyrics better. It helps you to, to, to sing your lyrics better when you're singing in your head voice, okay? And the fourth thing that you need for a great embouchure, I'm gonna back up on this, you need to train and sing in front of a mirror, right? Train and sing your embouchure in front of a mirror. It's absolutely critical. Now, the first three elements that I just shared with you, uh, lift the upper lip and show your teeth, leverage the tongue against the back of the bottom teeth, 
okay? And orient your mouth into a horizontal position like this. These three ideas aren't super science. Most of you can grasp what I'm telling you. You can grasp what I'm explaining. It's not hard to comprehend these ideas. But if there is something that's tricky or difficult about the embouchure, it's just simply this, remembering to do it. Remembering to hold your mouth in this position as you're singing, okay? All right, it's super important. So the best thing you can do to build the habit of singing and training through a, a, a high performance embouchure, singer's embouchure, is to do it in front of a mirror whenever possible. When you're training in your studio, when you're driving in your car, looking in the rearview mirror, whenever you can look, sing, train in front of a mirror. And do your best to be aware of it, but I'll guarantee you, you're gonna forget. In the beginning, you're gonna forget, so that's why we need a mirror. So, let's summarize. Your quick, get an immediate result tip that you're going to apply to your singing right now, today, is you're gonna be conscientious of shaping a great singer's empouchure. This is the empouchure, or how we shape our tongue, teeth, lips, and jaw. Four things you have to remember. Number one, lift the upper lip and show your canines, as much teeth as you possibly can. Two, get your tongue out of the way. Do that by leveraging the tip of the tongue against the back of the bottom teeth, all right? Gets the tongue forward, gets it out of the way. It also creates some very useful stability in your singing. Three, when you drop your jaw and you shape your mouth, shape it into a horizontal orientation like this not a vertical orientation like this, okay? Like this, all right? And four, to really bring this home and to really get it done and put it behind you as a new muscle memory skill, you're gonna do it in front of a mirror as much as you possibly can, all right? Use this tip, do what I'm prescribing Take my advice because if you get a great embouchure, it's just the beginning of a series of a whole bunch of other things that I'm gonna show you that will help you become a better singer. But the embouchure is sort of, in a way, the tip of the iceberg. It's where everything starts, is right from the embouchure. It's, it's what I teach my students on the very first lesson when they come to Seattle and train with me in this studio. All right, now I'm sharing it with you. Now go practice the embouchure, commit to it, Commit to what I just told you for two to four weeks and then get back to me and let me know what kind of progress and ease in your singing you've experienced. Thanks for listening and I look forward to hearing from you soon.